Hi KIS, my name is Miss Jessie and I am the MYP and DP visual arts teacher here. Uh, I am delighted to welcome you all to the VA uh, exhibition. The students have been working toward this a very long time, uh, really for the past year and a half. They've been working on these different pieces. I'm incredibly proud of them and all of the amazing work that they've been doing. And what you'll notice in this show in particular that is that it has a lot of multimedia uh, space that's being used. The students really pushed themselves out of their comfort zones and they experimented a lot. Some of them were doing their very first animations, their very first video pieces, and we just really saw an exploratory mindset, which I was thrilled to see. Hi, uh, my name is Ray and I take DP Visual Arts. I'm standing here in front of my grade 12 exhibition booth and I'd like to talk you through some of the pieces. Um, the overarching theme of my exhibition is the concept of loss, which I try to focus on in both form and content. A lot of my projects reflect, reflect the loss of something immaterial or conceptual and utilize a double meaning in the medium that they take. For example, this project, uh, Postcards to Scala, which is an investigation into the Scala Theatre, which was lost in 2020. Um, the reflection in both form and content is uh, in the use of postcards, which is also a medium not often utilized. Um, I also have a set of paintings here, which detail the um, lost casino lifestyle in Las Vegas, uh, which is represented through slides, another medium often unused. Uh, I also have an installation piece back there, which deals with loss more conceptually, namely the loss of life through the use of found objects. Hi, my name is Sue, and I'm a KIS student in grade 12. And this is my TV art exhibition. So I mainly drew inspiration from various science fiction and various art movements like Surrealist and a lot of Dada. I mainly worked with two-dimensional mediums, including watercolor, um, acrylic, and a few others. This was because this is, these are the mediums I'm quite confident in, and I personally really enjoy these mediums. So the paintings are mainly about this interplay between technology and humanity. I was interested in the ambiguity that creates, so that's why I included a lot of metallic textures and um, components directly from technology, such as found objects. Uh, another imagery, in, another thing I was interested in was various anatomical um, imageries, including distortion of the human body and distortion of our physicality that include that, that's shown in a lot of my watercolor and oil pastel works. So I was really, really interested in uh, the parts, human bodies, parts such as the hand, um, someone's face, and the torso. This was done by using watercolor techniques and using very delicate blending techniques. Hi, my name is Nikki from grade 12. I'm taking the DP visual arts course and this is my exhibition. So my exhibition is mainly about movement and connection and most importantly, uh, movement and emotion and the connection between the two. So it depicts the literal movement within the piece and also the piece's ability to move other people in connection to their emotions. Most of my pieces are you know, very personal and uh, I work in the digital medium. So most of my pieces, in order to convey most of my emotions, are depicted in a realistic manner. Uh, this is definitely a stylistic choice that uh, our art teacher has promoted and it's, I think it's very wonderful that our art teacher has been able to allow us to explore different stylistic choices and different mediums or styles that we want. Uh, my most particularly proud piece would be Embryo. It is a piece that I took uh, a lot of liberty, liberty and um, a lot of artistic choice and creativity into making it. It is done through digital painting in Adobe Photoshop and I tried to mimic different oil painting techniques with it. Um, similarly, this piece is called Jian. It's also a digital piece that is done in Photoshop. Uh, you can see the different sort of 
artistic or um, painterly sort of techniques being implemented as well. So the choices of using digital art actually greatly benefited me because I could do it anywhere. And then it also helped me with uh, my own comfort. Um, I feel like I'm a lot better at digital art than I am at traditional. So I think it's really wonderful that I'm able to present my digital work in the exhibition itself. Hello, my name is Pai from KS Grade 12 and I'm currently taking Visual Arts DP and this is my art exhibition. So my exhibition is focused around the exploration of transformation of form through various materials in the three-dimensional arts because I feel like sculptural arts is a media that I really enjoy working with because I enjoy working with a variety of unique materials. So this art series in particular is called Crown of the Gulf and it is largely inspired by the traditional Thai headpiece called the Shada. And basically, I took the form of the Shada and decided to transform its mostly metallic and dense uh, form, traditional form, and used delicate seashells to replace them. So as you can see, there's a variety of three different seashells that I used. Um, I really enjoyed the process of creating this because I was able to experiment and learn more about a very unique material, such as like a natural material of shells. And this is also kind of reflected in my other art piece called Crystallize. And it is made of resin and flowers. And as you can see, I kind of have this affinity and I'm really drawn to natural materials. And what I kind of wanted to explore in terms of meaning throughout all of my pieces is quite personal, as I feel like I'm very connected to themes of time, deterioration, and nature. And I want to reflect how precious nature is by preserving them in various beautiful forms. Thank you. Hi, my name is Idea. I'm a 12th grader taking the IB art exhibition and this is my art exhibition. So my art exhibition is about fragmentations, fragmentations of things in my life, especially my realizations during quarantine, because during the pandemic, I had a lot of time to myself, which I realized a lot of things. And also I took a lot of walks during my quarantine and that was the birth of many of my realizations, which has been reflected in many of my art, most of my art pieces. So this is the first piece that I would like to talk about. It's called DNA. Basically, it's a merged portrait of my family members. And what I did was I used acrylic paint and then I dropped it on each and every rod to represent the pixels and the DNA and the blurring lines in between them. Um, this piece is Where Are My Peonies? It's oil and acrylic on canvas and um, oil on a piece of acrylic on top and it's about feminism and issues that I struggle with as a female in a male household and as you can see most of these artworks um, include some of like fragments which are which might be like fragments of my memory such as purple swing or like fragments as in like paint drops or found objects so I just want to say that this year has been a tough year and I'm very proud of my classmates because we didn't have many studio hours because of the pandemic and the forced lockdowns. So I just want to say that I'm very proud of them and we all worked really hard. And hopefully this whole exhibition is inspirational to everyone, especially the upcoming 11th graders next year. Thank you.